Good morning, K2 students. It's Mrs. Conception, and I'm here to do our morning meeting. Okay, let's sing our morning song where we get to spell good morning. Okay, ready to sing with me? All right, ready? G O O D M O R N I N G. Good morning. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, uh, G O O D M O R N I N G. Good morning. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, uh, nice singing, boys and girls. Thanks for doing that with me. Now let's read our morning message and then let's find some sight words, okay? So, the date is May 4th, 2020. Dear K2, I hope you enjoyed seeing each other's work on Class Dojo at our Zoom meeting. We will do that every week from now on. So don't forget to post something on your portfolio. I can't wait to see what you share. Love, Mrs. Conception. Nice. Do you guys see any sight words there? I'm going to circle them this time because Miss Park's going to do another morning message with you on Friday where you can find sight words with her. Okay? So I'm listening for some sight words. You guys can yell it out. Ooh, I heard somebody say it over there. Yeah, you is a sight word. Can you guys clap that with me? Are you ready? It goes Y-O-U-U. -U. One more time. Y-O-U-U. -U. Great. Do you guys see any other sight words there? Hmm. Oh, I'm hearing so many good ones, but I did hear this one. We haven't seen this one in a while. What's that sight word? So, can you guys clap that? Ready? S-O-S-O. S-O-S-O. How about, ooh, I saw this one and I'm glad somebody else said it. What set word is that one? C, let's clap that one. S-E-E-C, S-E-E-C. -E -E nice, you guys were so quick at finding sight words. You're such experts now. Great, now that we're done with our morning message and our sight words, Let's move on and do our calendar. Do you guys notice something different about this calendar? Yeah, yes, it's different because it's flowers now, but there's something else that's different. You're correct. There is a new month. It's the month of May. Remember? When we sing our month, it's January, February, March, and April. May. May is the fifth month. May. Then we have June and July, August, September, October, November, December. Right? But now we're in May. That's almost halfway through the year. Cool. Last time we were doing calendar with Miss Park, it was May 1st. And it was a Friday. But we had the weekend and we did all types of fun stuff. So we're gonna move our today, not to Saturday, not to Sunday, but to hmm, Monday. And if you don't know the days of the week, what, can, what song can we sing? Nice, I see people already with their fingers up. All right, let's sing it. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it's the first day of the school week. So that means it's Monday. So it's May 4th, 2020. Great thinking. So from Friday, we are just adding one more straw. How many straws? Okay, one more straw. Let's count these really quickly. Because you guys are really great mathematicians. I know you can skip count by tens by now. So let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Remember, if there's 10 tens, that makes 100. Counting on from 100. 
And now we're done with our tens. We're going to be counting by ones. 150 was in my head. Let's count on. 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 157. Good job. But mm -mm, something's not right. Yeah, we have to change our ones place. It's not six anymore, it's a seven. And remember, you wanna do across the sky and down from heaven. That's how you write the number seven. Is this a seven, boys and girls? Yep, you're right, that's a, that's a four. Is that a seven? That's the same number, that was a six. Is this a seven? Nice, good thinking. Across the sky and down from heaven. That's how you write the number seven. We've been growing our brains in kindergarten for 157 days. Nice. All right, so our season is still spring. Some of you might still be getting some allergies. I know Misconception has some allergies still. Um, but that's because the flowers are blooming and all the pollen's in the air. So it kind of makes it a little itchy. Um, but that's okay. And I'm looking out of my window and it really looks like it's sunny and windy. Yeah, a lot of the things on my patio are moving around a lot. So I can definitely see there's wind and it's super bright. So I would say the weather is sunny and windy. But yours can be different because you live somewhere different than misconception. And that's okay. Um, and let's do our days of the week. We said earlier in our calendar that today is Monday. Is this Monday? Mm -mm. Good reading. That's a f -f -f -f. so that's Friday. Is this Monday? Great, because the first sound is a mm mm mm. And if I keep reading m on Monday, that's correct. So today is Monday. Tomorrow will be what's after Monday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday starts with a t t t t t t. t. Ooh, and I saw that one. That one was not very tricky. That one. T. Right? That's not Thursday. That's t t Tuesday. Thank you. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Yesterday. The day before was Sunday. Ooh, this one always gets me. Gets me kind of confused because we have two of them that start with an S. Is it the pink one or the red one? Which one is Sunday? Yeah, it's the red one because it's a n sun. Sun day. Sunday. Awesome. Let's do our chair. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Yesterday was Sunday. Great. All right, boys and girls, thank you for helping me with the morning message. Um, I did forget to give you a challenge last week. Silly misconception was so busy with other stuff that she forgot to give you a challenge. But you guys have been doing so great with Class Dojo. I don't even need to give you a challenge because my challenge was for you guys to post um, a video of you doing something cool. But you've been doing that, so that's great. My challenge for you this week is a secret. Okay? You guys think you can keep a secret? Make sure your mommy is not around. If she's around, tell her, Mommy, misconception has to tell me a secret, so can you please go to the other room just for a few minutes? All right. Give her some time to walk away. Okay. So, boys and girls, there is a special holiday happening soon. And that holiday is Mother's Day. Yeah, it's Mother's Day. So, my challenge for you is to either do a really fun Mother's Day project, which we're gonna post in our lessons, or you can record a really nice video for your mommy and share it with her, okay? Um, and if you don't have a mommy that you wanna share it with, you can always make a message to someone that's really special to you, that takes care of you and watches you. Maybe it's an auntie, 
Maybe it's a grandma, maybe it's a friend's mom, or maybe a teacher, or a family friend. So Mother's Day is just a day to remember and thank someone that makes you feel really special inside. Someone that takes care of you and makes you feel loved, okay? So remember, our secret challenge, and don't share it with your mommy until it's Mother's Day, is to do a really, really cool project for her or to record a video telling her how special she is, okay? All right, I can't wait to see those projects and to see you guys all on the Zoom and to see all your posts on Class Dojo. Keep it up. Take care. I miss you guys. Bye.